G'day, it's George Truman and welcome to Agri Updates Northwest. Today we're in the paddock at Wayne and Nell's place at Summerton. We're having a, a native pasture ID day. It's being hosted by the Bubba Gullion 100 Landcare Group and there's been a really big interest in native grasses, particularly with the really good rainfall we had towards the end of last year and the prolific growth. And we've actually been getting probably two or three um, people at the counter or phone calls or text each week with people wanting to know what the native grasses are because we're really seeing some of the natives come through that we haven't seen for many years, particularly because of the, the cooler summer, the cooler season, the really good rainfall. And it's great to see people um, taking some interest in what's in their paddock. We often you know, look at our livestock, we often try and manage the soils, but it's really important to actually have a look at what our pasture base is because from a livestock perspective, this is what we're really growing. We're growing pastures or grasses, which is then predominantly for the feed for our livestock. So, so knowing what you've got, um, the palatability, whether it's desirable or less desirable, um, the nutritional value is really important. So today we've got about 35 landholders here. We've been uh, hearing from Mitch Whitten from BCT, who's been able to talk about the various plant structures, um, some of the identifying features, and Sally Balmain's just had a session on the livestock side of it. So talking a little bit about the nutritional value of these grasses. We're just going to head off up the paddock soon, but it's, uh, it's really good to see um, the interest. People have also brought along some of their own pastures for us to identify, and just the in increasing interest in, in native grasses um, in, the, in this last season. And there's some really good resources out there. We've got the little book called The, the Common Plants of the Lower Namoi. There's uh, various DPI publications. So there's some really good resources out there that people can use and it's often not just one book you might have one or two different uh, references to look at and there's some really good um, online apps there's some apps on the phone you can take a photo um, it'll give you a identification you can send it through to the Royal Botanic Gardens for identification so there's some some really practical resources now um, both through the phone um, and the hard copy books that are really good um, to help with that identification. Mm -hmm. 